In this video, we're going to look at naming and drawing some amines and amides. Now, these molecules are both very similar to each other. They both happen to have um, a. Uh, they both happen to have nitrogen. So nitrogen is contained within both of these molecules, and you can see nitrogen in blue here, and it is attached to this carbon-oxygen double bond. And here we just have a nitrogen by itself, and that would be the amine, and that's going to be our starting point. So, amines. Um, ammonia is considered to be our simplest of the amines. So if we take a quick look at how nitrogen is drawn, looks a little like that. We have all the uh, hydrogens pointing down. Now, each of these hydrogen spots allow us to remove that hydrogen and attach some kind of carbon chain. So since we have three hydrogens on ammonia, that means we have three spots. So we could remove that one for a carbon chain, that one for a carbon chain, and that one for a carbon chain. And you don't, you don't necessarily have to remove all three. You can remove one, two, or three. So in those cases, you could get something like uh, a nitrogen with one carbon chain. We consider this to be a primary or first degree amine. You could get a nitrogen attached to two carbon chains. They don't necessarily have to be the same, but they could. So we use that little knot there to represent a different style carbon chain. Anyway, that will be a secondary or a second degree amine. And then lastly, you could have a nitrogen attached to three different carbon chains. So those could all be the same or all the different, whatever. They're tertiary or third degree amines. When it comes to naming, these are actually pretty simple. All we need to do is identify our carbon chains and put them in alphabetical order and then add the word amine. That is it. So if we're looking at an example here, we've got a methyl group and there's just one group. So we're going to call this one methyl and then add the word amine, methylamine. The next one we've got here has a couple of different groups. Here we have a methyl group, and here we have an ethyl group. So ethyl should come first. Ethyl, methyl, amine. And in our last example, we've got a couple of methyl groups. So we'll use a dimethyl, and then we have a purple group. So alphabetically, the, uh, that should say dimethyl, not diethyl. Put a little M in there for methyl. So dimethyl and then propylamine. So M comes before P in the alphabet, apparently, if you sing it. And that's all I have to say about amines. Now, amides are a little more complex. They contain a CON functional group, and it looks a little something like that. Now, keep in mind here that we have two spots for us to put uh, carbon chains or maybe even hydrogens in. So anyway, they contain this functional group and we are going to have a carbon chain over there. So some kind of carbon chain and like I said those two spots could be hydrogens or they could be carbon chains as well. You could have one chain, you could have two. Two is the most you can have for this particular amide. Now when we go to name, uh, the stuff over here is going to become the first part of our name. There doesn't always necessarily need to be chains there, but anyway, that will become the first part. And then this part, the, the carbon chain, is going to become our ending part. So here's our rules for naming. Let's take a look at an example. And this one's about as simple as it gets. For amides, it doesn't get much simpler. Notice we actually have no groups attached. So that'll make our name even simpler. Uh, the first thing we would do would be to name the carbon chains next to the N. Since there aren't any, we'll just leave that on the back burner. And then the other thing to do is we have to identify how many carbons we've got here. And then, so we've got a, one carbon, so it's a methane, and we're going to remove the E on methane and put amide. So we're going to get methanamide. So again, the E that was there on, on uh, methane gets removed because there's one carbon here, right? Methane. And then we add the word amide. Now they do get more complex, like this one here. So again, we'll identify this is we've got a carbon chain. We've got a methyl carbon chain. And over here, this will be our ending name. We've got an, uh, two carbons for ethyl. So methyl, ethanamide. Again, the E for ethane is replaced with amide.
And this is maybe, well, this is a nice complex one here. So we've got a couple of methyl groups. So this one we'll start off by calling dimethyl. And now here we have three carbons. So this one's going to be propanamide. 